The Electoral Commission's chairperson engineer Badru Chigundu told the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee that they had initially planned for 272 billion shillings for the financial year 2015-2016, but were informed by the Ministry of Finance that they would be given only 202 billion shillings. Among the activities that are likely to be affected by the 70 billion shillings shortfall are the elections for the special interest groups, payments for the presidential and parliamentary polling day officials, and the elections for the youth MPs. But the Ministry of Finance dismisses these allegations as not true and that the Electoral Commission will be able to conduct the election. We are the custodian yeah. of the budget of the Republic of Uganda. So we know what we have given out, we know what is in the pipeline, and we know what we are proposing to. The State Minister for Finance in charge of General Duties, Fredo March, told NTV that the ministry planned to give the Electoral Commission 235 billion shillings in the financial year 2015-2016, and that it will receive 202 billion shillings. According to March, there may be some deviation we are going to have a convergence. In other words, the budget will be fully funded. The minister also commented on the president's recent remarks on reviewing taxes on private schools. The president is the minister of finance. The minister of finance holds that portfolio on behalf of the president in accordance with the constitution. So we are considering this and seeing how we shall make appropriate adjustments so that the, the, the budget for 2016, 2015-2016 uh, will balance. Currently, different government departments are presenting their policy statements ahead of passing the national budget in June. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.